Hey, it's Coach Charlie. Let's wake up and win. Our story begins. I want to talk about the pull-up jump shot. And I want to talk about the footwork that coordinates with the hinging of the wrist. Okay? The shot starts from the feet to the release. I call that toes, hips, tips, fingertips. The shot, if you think about it, it's like a circle. And the point of emphasis is, if I shoot this ball where I need to shoot it, it'll come back to me. That is not edited at all. I don't believe in foo-foo tricks. If I shoot it, it'll come back, hence the circle. I'm here looking to shoot at an object up here. And the goal is to reach it to a point where when the ball goes through the hole, it could come back to you. That's when you know you've mastered the jump shot. That's inner growth. Inner growth is mastery. That's for life right there. Just you can use that one. Once you get inner growth, you're entwined to your word, whatever you do in life. I'm not really going off subject, but I'm going to get back on in a second. So for me to shoot this ball, make or miss, that ball is going to eventually come back to me. That's because I, I'm not attached to the outcome of the shot. What I'm attached to is the, the process of knowing that I'm making a circle. I'm circle. I'm making a circle. And if I circle up how I need to in my timing and positioning, the ball will come back to me. All right? Now, the reason why learning the pull-up jump shot is crucial to any player's development, especially young, is that you don't have to worry or fret about getting too deep to the basket for charges. Now I want to focus on one player right now, LeBron James. Let's say LeBron James had a pull-up jump shot like Kevin Durant. Think about the impact that LeBron James will have on the game. I don't know, in honesty, if we're talking about Steph Curry at all. Because now you've got this guy who is the closest thing to Michael Jordan because Michael Jordan had a pull-up jump shot later on in his career. If LeBron James had a pull-up jump shot like Kevin Durant, all we will be talking about is LeBron James. But the thing about LeBron James, and I'm not knocking him, if I'm scouting him, it's let him shoot the 30-footer. Don't give up the rim. Just contest it. Because he loves to get deep into the rim and dish. If he can learn, or if, if, I know he, I, I know, now, for me to say what I'm going to say is really far-fetched, but if he could learn how to just take one dribble, get to this area right here, and pull up for that jump shot, it's a wrap. So let's talk about that jump shot for a second. The footwork. The footwork on a pull-up jump shot is what I call one-two footwork, meaning your right foot is one, if you're like me, left-handed. Right foot's one, left foot's two. Notice when I do that, I'm breaking down. That breakdown is called loading. I'm loading. If I'm right-handed, it'll be right foot one, left foot two. I'm loading. And notice I'm coming from a high position. Here's why. A lot of times we don't play down and ready. As much as I can talk about we can be in that position, it sometimes just caught off guard. Now, if I'm in athletic stance, right, my hips are hinged, my butt is back, I'm ready to go, okay, I might get a little, a little what we call a quarter squat. But in a quarter squat position, I still can get in that same position. So I take that one dribble, that left foot is one, that right foot's two, I'm loaded. And what I want is I want my palm facing the bottom of the net. So when I go up, I just want to go up straight in that alleyway. So right hand shot, spin the ball, dribble the basketball, left foot's one, right foot's two, hold that follow through, all right? Get you another right hand shot. Left foot one, right foot two, 
hold that jump shot. And I'm barely jumping off the floor, right? So if I really explode up and I shoot it, I'll get a little more leverage, okay? I'll get a little more leverage. Now my left hand, same concept, think about that. LeBron James going right or going left, going left instead of trying to get to the basket, just pull up right there. He can get to his spots every single time. Come off that screen, come downhill, they're waiting him in the paint. He's stopping and popping. He's shooting a 12 to 15 foot jump shot. And then when they start taking that away, that's when you want to mix it up to get to the basket to finish as strong as possible. But if he can just get to his spot, one, two, one, two, shot, hold, right? Keeping it simple. Just, just get to a spot. Come off the screen, mix it up. One, two, one, two, spot. Think about the impact and how it opened up his game. Now, I'm not criticizing. All I'm doing is critiquing to break down for this video. If, if LeBron James can focus on that one to two drill pull-up jump shot, stop and pop, one, two, step, load and spring, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. They may not win, they may win, who cares? But as far as his game going to another stratosphere, it'll be an awakening.